Wholeness, welcome to my channel. Cheetah Silver Tree here. <sighs> I hope um, this, or may this message find you well and whole. Um, I guess today it's more about maintenance of energy and how that's today's message anyway, um, and how that's really important. You have to keep track of how much of yourself you're putting into several different things and how much you're putting into you as well. I struggle with this, and I just do. I'm not good at multi-managing multiple different projects and multiple uh, and, and multiple uh, responsibilities on a professional level that I am right now. It's it's hard, and um, and to perfect that that takes time. It takes trial and error. It takes being realistic with yourself and your limitations. So yeah, it's about this video is about maintenance. So what do you do when you have so much to do and life is demanding a lot from you? Right? I shared with you all that I'm in the middle of moving, that I am, you know, uh, I'm going to school full time or going to grad school and working full time and on top of that doing professional development training. And it's like I'm constantly, you know, having to juggle. And on top of that, you know, I mentioned the moving thing, but there have been the past couple of weeks some unexpected things that have happened. Um, last week, I ended up scratching my cornea and my eye. And that was a very painful experience. <laughs> um, very, very physically painful, really, truly. And as someone that has to wear glasses permanently for probably the rest of my days, I just... It was kind of worrisome, but I'm healed now, right? But on top of everything else, I have to manage putting energy into that. And then yesterday, I ended up with a flat tire, just a sharp, um, a sharp uh, piece or chunk of um, oh gosh, concrete that broke off somewhere, went like that deep into my tire. Luckily. I, I, you know, I didn't have to pay too much money. I mean, I had to get it towed and everything. And this is, this happened as I was getting out of the car to start my day at the school at 8 a.m. in the morning or 7 something in the morning. I just, and I handled all of that with as much grace as I possibly can. I will say, I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but grace, when you're trying to maintain a lot of different energy, grace is imperative. Grace can be your friend. Um, and maybe that's this comes from just living or growing up in kind of a high stress environment and then working in high stress environments um, like a hospital or working with kids or just constantly being like turned on, like you're always on, right? There, there isn't a lot of downtime when you are in the profession of people um, in public service, right? Not just education or not just medicine, but just if you're in a, a profession where you're constantly dealing with people all the time. You're talking to people, you're calling people, you're having conversations with people, you're planning with people, you're meetings, you're having meetings with people. It's constantly a social interaction, so you're always turned on, you're always like just, there's not a lot of time to process and to reflect. And that's, I think, one of the reasons why I have this channel is to help me as much as some of the videos help you. So, you know, I, um, Grace has, has definitely helped me in the past, I would say two weeks. And I have another, uh, IEP that's coming up. I have so many <laughs> cases that are coming up that need, you know, my attention and, you know, like, with the things that I've mentioned that have happened um, unexpectedly, I just, it's a lot, but I am, I'm handling it. 
grace, the spirit of grace, the frequency of grace can really smooth a lot over. And um, I think, you know, my colleague, one of my colleagues yesterday, when I was joking about my flat tire, she was like, uh, <laughs> she was like, it was almost like the universe, the universe is wanting me to release, you know, release a lot of the pent up stress and anxiety and and look i'm a sponge to other people's energy if i don't do enough energy maintenance and i don't do enough energy cleansing on a habitual consistent daily basis it begins to affect my life like if i start ignoring my well-being and my emotional status my my mental health um i it just it'll show up like a scratch cornea or <laughs> A flat tire it's like the universe is like okay Nadja like come on wake up you need to take care of yourself um, the day I scratched my cornea it was I, I poked myself in the eye I think it was dreaming or I startled myself I don't know it was 5 a.m. in the morning and blink, you know and it was I mean the whole day I couldn't get to a clinic they were full you know and then I had IEPs do you know, the case, my um, supervisor, like, you know, she was like, okay, we can help you, but you're just having a lot going on here, you know, and no, she's, but she's been great, you know, and I met my professor last week, and she was great, it's just, you know, when, like, you underestimate how, <laughs> how much energy it's going to take to do certain things and I'm not very good at measuring how much energy and time it's going to take to do certain things. That's where I find that a lot of my planning and, pre and preparation fall flat. And, you know, with all that, I just, I have to just be more realistic and not set the, my bar so incredibly high that it supersedes the expectations of my of my supervisor or of my my manager or whatever you know like it, it like i mentioned before i have an issue with perfectionism and that shows up but now i'm more aware of it and so now it's like okay i'm aware of my issue with perfectionism now it's how can i use the time that i have to do what i need to do and I need to be realistic with the time that it takes to complete the things I need to complete. Um, you know, my, um, my supervisor, she's like, you can do anything, but you can't do everything. And who wants to be told that you can't do everything? Who wants to be told that you can't do something at all? But I have to be realistic. You know, it, you cannot, you can't do everything all at once, right? You can't do everything all at once. It's impossible to do that. So here I am making this video because it's Wednesday and I believe in consistency. That's part of being successful at anything. And I would say tune in to how, I, well, I'm going to ask how has Grace helped you? How has Grace guided you through moments where you're trying to maintain your sanity because you know especially if you guys are uh, for those of you who watch and you're empathic like you just you're just tuned in in that way to people um you want to show up you want to make people happy you want to be of service you know you're a humanitarian at heart you want to do and be you know everything to everybody all the time which is not healthy that i think it's like a subconscious thing where it's like you make yourself over available for people like yesterday i don't know what happened but i got caught up i had an amazing inner uh um amazing interaction with a complete stranger i had a conversation it was like a two hour long conversation and i'm going to say that it was god led and it was guided by the higher power because i guess we both needed it because it seemed like she needed an ear she needed to talk and it seemed like i needed to connect too i don't have a lot of time to have a social life and go visit family and do this and do that and do this it's like i'm right now in the middle of trying to manage my my life my life right now given the changes that are that are present so I think I really needed that just to sit and listen to yet, you know, connect to that feminine energy, connect to another woman and 
and you just I and you wouldn't think, right? Um, when you give yourself grace, you you receive that extra push. You receive that that extra support that's unseen, and that's what it's been like for me this this past couple of weeks. I just although like the scratch cornea was incredibly painful and and a little lonely and it's a little scary because this is my good eye, right? My only good eye that I have left. And, you know, I just, I'm always humbled by the universe. And I, I, I welcome that. It keeps me centered and it keeps me in line of what I'm meant to be doing. But yeah, I, I will say that it's, um, grace has been a great guide and, you know, with a flat tire, look, I knew I was in a great spot because I've gotten a flat tire where I was in the middle of bumfuck nowhere, like in the middle of nowhere. And I had to wait hours and hours and hours and I had to, you know, rely on people, but it was just a different kind of stress. It was my first time ever having a flat. <laughs> but this time it's like, I knew I was safe. I knew it was the beginning of the day. I knew that I had the funds to take care of this situation. Um, and people automatically assume that because you're a teacher, you're just automatically broke. Here's a side note on that and my view on money. Okay. I don't never judge people just because someone makes a certain kind of salary. You can judge, you can prejudge them and you can say, oh, then, then they're only able to afford this. Right. Even in the conversation with the stranger, she asked me what kind of car I had. Right. And I'm like to myself, I'm like, it doesn't really matter, right? I could have a really expensive car and be broke as a joke, or I can have just what I have, which is an older, <laughs> older Honda, right? And I could be making bank. So I just, you know, people made a couple of comments yesterday, yesterday, like, oh man, I'm so sorry. Like you don't make any money. Like <laughs> I hope you don't have to spend so much. And it's like, like I don't, I don't like to assume. I've, I've been around wealthy people before my life on my path and some of them were a lot more miserable than you would ever imagine all their needs were met but they were miserable or they didn't really i mean it looked like they had money but they were they were in it on a tight string okay so yeah it's just a side note because teachers always get that rep that they don't get paid enough they don't get paid enough blah, 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 blah. they don't make anything they don't make enough money blah 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 I'm just not one of those people like it's about how you manage your money not how much money you have with though with that yeah money can money hides your problems it can it can it can hide things it, it makes it it makes it look like you don't have serious issues or you don't have problems or you don't have things going on but when you don't have money, everybody can see what you're going through. Everybody can see that you're broke. Everybody can assume that you are going through a certain thing. And they could be dead wrong, but usually it's the case. But money can, can most certainly gloss over a lot of serious problems. So I don't, you know, that's one thing I get a little annoyed with, you know, when I say, oh, yeah, I'm a teacher. And people are like, oh, oh, my gosh, I'm so sorry. It's like, okay, like. You know, whatever you're doing, not everyone's meant to do. That's how I look at it. Oh, I could never teach. Like, huh? I can never wipe butts either, you know, or I can never be a nurse. Okay, well, I mean, you can count pills. I find counting pills pretty boring, but people make a really good living off of, you know, being a drug, a professional drug dealer, which is a pharmacist, pharmacist you know, like, it is what it is. You, you, you do your own thing, but try not to judge. <laughs> anyway, that kind of got off subject. Grace, you know, tell me and share with me, please. Like, how has Grace guided you? And I'll leave you with that. Have a good night.